The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. T today we're going to talk about uh, Jamie, 21 year old, uh, has been identified as the lady that tragically lost her life in the car with 650 Lil Mike. Let's jump straight into it. Um, my condolences go out to uh, this young woman's family. Um, I know it's a, um, a hard time right now, you know, to have to bury a 21 year old. Uh, especially when you know that um, the target, she wasn't the target. Um, but one of the things that um, her parents got to realize is that, you know, when 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 these women out here and, and they choosing to to be with these street dudes and they choosing to be with a gangster and the person that's out here really out here in in the mix, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is what you get. You know, a lot of these dudes, man, is on site with their enemies. You know, when they catch their enemies, is going up and the same thing, vice versa. You know, and a lot of these young dudes ain't smart enough or care enough to keep innocent people away from them. A lot of people is it, so selfish and so careless because they don't care about their own life that they'll put the next person's life in risk. You know what I'm saying? Lil Mike had no business at all hanging with this 21-year-old girl and her kids. Because what happened was when, when somebody seen Lil Mike, they wasn't thinking about her or her kids in the car. They just thinking they see Lil Mike, they trying to get at him. You know what I'm saying? And the sad part about it is, is that this girl lost her life at 21 years old, man, with so much life ahead of her. But when you choosing to be with these dudes, this is the lifestyle that you, you got to accept. You know, I can't tell you how many girls say, oh, I want a street dude. I want a hood dude. This is what you, this is what you're going to have to go through. You know, if you were an intelligent man or a working man or, or, or a nine to five dude, you ain't got to worry about this, this type of stuff happening to you, you know, but all the ladies out there, you know, they want the street dudes. They want the dudes. They got the rep on the block. They got hats and all of that. I can't tell you how many times I've heard women say, oh, if you ain't got this many hats, I don't want to talk to you. Just thinking ignorant, you know, because at the end of the day, man, this girl just really put her life on the line and her kid's life on the line. You know what I'm saying? Just because she want to hang with Lil Mike or kick it with Lil Mike. And it was a bad idea, you know. But uh, so far, um, these are all the details that we got on her. Um, like I say, my condolences go out to her family. Um, I know it's a tough, sticky situation, man, but we definitely got to stop this violence, man, you know, because it's starting to, 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 to when it's getting to the point that, that kids, kids is getting put in the middle of it and innocent women and children is getting hurt. That's when you got to really, really rethink, man, what is your gang really about? You know what I'm saying? Because once you leave that streets, your hood, your block, and you, it, it's, it's way more to the world than just your corner, your hood, your block, man, you know. But for all the ladies out there, I hope that, that this be a life lesson, man. If these the type of dudes that you want to date, that's really active, that's in the mix, you know, that's that that's that's really with the street stuff, y'all open your eyes that y'all putting your life at risk too because when somebody catches them, they not going to think for a second that, oh, I'm not going to do this because you were in the car. We live in 2024 to where these shorties is, is trigger happy. They wake up every day and and, and be fiending to, to to catch a hat. You know what I'm saying? So for all you ladies out there, if you if you want to mess with these type of dudes, man, just be prepared for this to happen. But I would advise y'all, man, to stay out these dudes' way, man, and to really find you somebody that's intelligent and that's a nine to five dude and that wouldn't put your life or your kid's life at risk because. Lil Mike obviously didn't care about his own life and he definitely didn't care about your life because if he did, he wouldn't have had you in that car with him. You know what I'm saying? And just thank God that didn't nothing happen to your kids. But the sad fact is that your kids had to watch you. You know what I'm saying? Your kids had to watch that happen to you, man. And I just pray for them, man, because I know the type of trauma and the type of pain that they going to go through, man, at, um, you know, grow, growing up without their mom, you know? Um, I can imagine that they confused right now. They probably don't know what's going on, you know, and the only thing they probably know is that they miss their moms, you know, but she put her kid's life at risk, man. Both of them did, man. But Lil Mike should have known better than that, man. When you're moving around in these streets, you can't have innocent casualties with you. You in them streets, ain't no more going grocery shopping, taking your grandma to church, chilling with your family, your girl, riding with your kids. None of that when you in them streets. You can't do it. It's, that's the life you chose. If you don't want that type of lifestyle, 
I advise you to leave the streets, man. But it's your boy, D's Media, signing out. Peace, positivity, network, growth. Let's save these kids. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>